the reason why I became a DJ wasn't to become a, an artist. Like right. people become a DJ now to try and become an artist. Yeah. I became a DJ because I was such a nerd that nobody would invite me yeah, to parties. Yeah, I just wanted to play dope music that I found for people. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I wanted to go to parties that were yeah. cool. So the exactly. way that I got to go was in the DJ booth. And I, to this day, have severe people anxiety. So like the DJ booth is like the safe space. Yeah, like, a lot of DJs do same. It's hard being on I don't like talking to people. I don't I like running into people, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, so, so like... I was like, ah, I don't want to do it. And she's like, well, will you do the stadiums? And I was like, stadiums? Like, what stadiums are we talking about? <laughs> she's like, well, I'm doing St- City Field. I'm in San Francisco. I'm doing wow. Wrigley Field. I'm doing Fenway. I'm doing Mets, wherever the Mets play, yeah. blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. And so, <laughs> And so I literally... I didn't even comprehend it at first. Like I literally didn't comprehend it. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, do I, uh, do I, I'm, I can't, I'm not going to play on turntables because it's outside. I didn't want like the wind to blow stuff. I didn't want to pre-record anything because I've always, I'm a DJ. So like I've yeah. been places where it's like, it's, it's, DJ X loses his drink and leaves the turntable for 20 minutes and runs out. And like, you know what I mean? Like whatever. Yeah. And so at the time I was like trying to figure it out. What do I play? Like, what am I going to do? I just started a publishing company. I mean, I just started a record label from the publishing company. Had a couple of releases out that I thought were cool. I was like, I'll go out and do it. Dude, it was insane. I mean, like, I was playing records for 50,000, 40,000 people. You know I what mean, I mean? Was it just crazy high pressure or was it so many people that it was almost like, is this even real? So, <laughs> it, it, that, it, 90% is this even real at all times. Like, it's almost. And, and because, like, once the lights, dude, I had unprecedented access to her stuff right which is also crazy because you know, usually when usually you're, op- you're an opening act that like screw you just go do yeah. something shut so, up so like opening acts pri- previously like would have like some sheet that they put up yep. with their name on it and like they right. play and people in the lights would be on and it'd be like whatever i know i said i'm not doing this unless i can use everything right fire pots like lasers whatever you're using that's the best i, yeah. I want to use it and she's like basically they were like you can use whatever you want except for the mechanical stage so they gave me full <laughs> run of like the the 120 foot you know long screen up behind me all this the dj booth that's had a screen great. in it yeah. all the screens up on the side full projection i got to hire my own guy to p- put my graphics up and i played for 45 minutes and i could play whatever i wanted that's so, so cool so i i i played like a mixture of like house and some stuff that was my original stuff some stuff that was on my label and then hip-hop stuff that i've liked you know and so it was nuts because i would look at the pictures after it was done and be like what the i have a picture in my house now of me standing holding a microphone in one hand and a red cup in the other hand in front of fifty thousand people dude it's crazy oh my god so 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 when i look at it i'm like God damn, that's dope. Like, I mean, like, I don't even think do is dope. And like that picture, like, uh, you would have. I, I, can't, I can't believe it even to this day. I gotta like, it's, see that. It's bonkers. It's a crazy picture. That's I probably amazing. have a picture of the picture on my phone. I'll show you when we're done. But um, yeah, it's those moments, you don't even know that you're doing them while you're doing them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Which like, is a lot of life. Yeah. You know, you look back on like, you didn't, re- you don't realize how crazy it is. Yeah. W- while you're living it. Yeah, and it turns out by missing that thing that I missed that weekend. It set a chain of events in motion that really, I I I, I regret not going to that weekend for uh, a lot of reasons. But then, like I look back on the whole thing, and I'm like, if I had to pick one of them, I'm glad I picked this because no yeah. nobody gets to do that. I was the first DJ to ever play in Wrigley Field. I was the first right. DJ to ever play in Fenway Park. I was I got to sign the wall next to Billy Joel like in Fenway Park. It's like I have like. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. all my friends are like down where the Cubs are pitching in in Wrigley Field. I got to put Tim Buck-2's name behind me oh, in, wow. in Wrigley Field and have his mom come in and see her son's yeah. name and logo behind me in 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 Wrigley Field, dude. It was nuts, man. So like, it's like I got to do a lot of really cool stuff. <laughs> 